In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple zoom out transition. To get things started, I just added two clips to my timeline. Begin by moving the time head to where you want the transition to start. Drag the top clip's end to cut it to that position. Next, we're going to add the animation for the zooming out effect. Press S to bring up the scale options for that clip. Click the timer button next to scale to create the starting keyframe. Then change the scale's value to 50%. Hold down the control key and press the left arrow key six times to move back six frames on the timeline. Then change the scale's value to 100 to create your ending keyframe. Next, select your second clip. Press S on the keyboard to open up the scale properties. Click the timer next to scale to create the starting keyframe. Then change the scale's value to 200%. Hold down the control key and press the right arrow key six times to move forward six frames. Then change the scale to 100 to create your ending keyframe. All right, now select both of the keyframes from your bottom clip. Hold down the alt key and press the right arrow key three times to move them forward three frames to offset them from the top clip. For the next step, position the time head to the frame right before we can't see our top clip anymore. Then head over to the Effects and Presets panel. Type Motion Tile into the search box. Drag the effect onto your top clip. In Effect Controls, increase the output width and height properties so that they fill the screen. Then check Mirror Edges. Next we're going to add some motion blur to smooth this out. Click the Enable Motion Blur button at the top of the timeline. Then turn it on for each track by clicking the corresponding toggles. Okay, this looks pretty good, but for our finishing touch, let's easy ease our keyframes. So go ahead and select all of your keyframes. Right click one of them and go to Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease Out. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a smooth looking zoom out transition in After Effects. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.